Complete guide to navigate, pan, zoom and rotate views inside Tango Slicer. In this video, we'll show you how to navigate inside your scene more precisely in Tango Slicer. We'll cover how to pan, zoom, rotate views as well as the shortcuts and tips to help you do it more easily. We'll also summarize all the key points at the end of the video, you can screenshot and save for future use. 1. How to pan in Tango Slicer You can press the scroll wheel and drag to pan the view. If your mouse doesn't have a scroll wheel, you may press Alt plus left mouse button and drag. If you want to go back to view all the parts, press F2. 2. How to zoom in Tango Slicer Zoom in out. If you want to move your model closer or further away, scroll up or down the mouse wheel. The center of zoom will be where your mouse cursor is located. For example, if you want to have a close-up view of part of your model, put your cursor there and then zoom in. If your mouse doesn't have a scroll wheel, you may press Ctrl plus right mouse button, then move the cursor up or down. If you want to zoom in and out to center of screen, use shortcuts A and Q. Zoom to all parts or selected or platform. If you zoom overly and want to go back to view all the parts, use shortcut F2. To zoom to selected part, use shortcut F3. To zoom to platform, use shortcut F4. You can also right-click outside the model. From the pop-up panel, click zoom to all parts. Zoom to selected or zoom to platform to achieve the same result. Zoom shortcuts, view, and modification. Click on the options icon on the upper right corner, select shortcut. Under the prepare tab, you can see all the zoom shortcuts are here. You may modify them to suit your needs. To go back to default, click Restore to default. 3. How to rotate views in Tango Slicer Tango Slicer adopts free orbit rotation, which is more flexible than restrained orbit. To rotate views in Tango Slicer, hold down the right mouse button and drag. Center of Rotation The little red dot you see when rotating the view is the center of rotation. It's by default the center of the model or group of models you recently imported into the scene or created. Here the center of rotation is the center of the wolf model. After we import another model, the center of rotation becomes the center of the two models. Moving the models afterwards won't change the center of rotation. You can select a new center of rotation by pressing the scroll wheel wherever you want. For beginners, the suggested center of rotation is the center of the build plate, which is easier to handle. Tips You may specify a temporary center of rotation by holding down the right mouse button on the model. Rotate views using view cube. The cube on the upper right corner is the view cube. When we hover the mouse over the cube, you'll see faces, edges or points get highlighted. If we click on them, Tango Slicer will rotate the view to show the scene from that exact angle. Here if we click the little arrow above it, Tango will rotate the view 90 degrees and show us the top. Likewise, we can click on the left side and Tango will show us the left view. If we go up and click on the arrows here, Tango Slicer will rotate the view around an axis. To go back instantly to the default view, click on the home button. Rotate views using shortcuts. Click on the options icon on the upper right corner, select shortcut. Under the views tab, you can see all the view rotation shortcuts are here. For example, to go back to the default view, instead of clicking on the home button, you may press 5. To rotate to top view, bottom view, left view, and right view, you may press 8, 2, 4, and 6. If you have a keyboard number pad, you'll see the shortcuts correspond to their relative locations to 5. You may also modify these shortcuts to suit your needs. To go back to default, click Restore to default.
Thank you for watching.